In the endless expanse of Saudi Arabia's desert, a vision once dismissed as fantasy is now turning into steel, glass, and light. The line, the $500 billion linear megacity within Neom, is entering its most visible stage. What began as digital renderings has evolved into construction cranes, polished metal panels, and a defined skyline emerging from the sand. By 2025, the world is no longer asking if the line will be built, but how much of it already exists. Its mirrored facade, intelligent design, and futuristic ambition are transforming the desert into a living monument of innovation and control. This is not science fiction anymore. It's the blueprint of tomorrow, shimmering under the Arabian sun. Breaking ground, from vision to visible progress. Satellite images from 2025 reveal that the line has moved far beyond concept art. Excavation fields now form geometric patterns visible from space, marking foundations for future modules and transport corridors. The most developed zone, near NEOM's hidden marina, is buzzing with machinery day and night. Construction teams work in segmented clusters, erecting early shells of the world's most ambitious city. Underground utilities, from cooling systems to high-speed service tunnels, are already functional. The desert that once symbolized emptiness now hums with life and precision. While the full 170-kilometer stretch remains years away, the opening segments represent the physical beginning of an idea once thought impossible. A perfectly linear city that redefines civilization itself. The rise of the luxury core. By mid-2025, the line's energy has concentrated around what developers call its luxury core, the nucleus of elite living and advanced hospitality. Instead of spreading wide, the project is building upward, stacking innovation in vertical layers of exclusivity. Engineers and architects are installing modular interior pods resembling luxury hotel suites rather than standard apartments. The hidden marina district has become a global talking point. Its yacht ports, glass bridges, and sky deck lounges now tangible parts of construction. Imported materials from Japan, Germany, and Italy fill the site. Temperature-controlled glass, carbon fiber beams, and reflective surfaces designed to self-clean in the desert wind. For the first time, the promise of ultra-luxury living in the middle of nowhere is taking physical form. These early towers are not just structures. They are statements of power, wealth, and design precision. Technology at the heart of life. At the center of the line's 2025 development lies a new kind of intelligence, architecture powered by artificial consciousness. Each building core houses AI systems that monitor every element of life, temperature, oxygen levels, lighting, and even mood. Neural networks adjust environments automatically, shaping rooms to match human comfort and circadian rhythm. Residents will never switch off lights or thermostats. The city will do it for them. Advanced recognition systems identify individuals upon entry, while virtual assistants coordinate meals, schedules, and entertainment. The line isn't built to host people, it's designed to know them. Engineers describe it as a city that learns. Trials already show that the line's AI can maintain ideal internal climates despite 45-degree desert heat. In this world, technology doesn't just serve, it senses, predicts, and evolves with its inhabitants. Recalibrated ambition. Even as progress accelerates, 2025 has brought a dose of realism. The initial plan to house 9 million people by 2030 has quietly shifted toward a leaner, more exclusive model. Instead of building for everyone, the line's early phases are catering to a few thousand high net worth residents and investors. Economic adjustments, global supply challenges, and logistical complexities force the team to scale intelligently. Critics call it a retreat. Supporters call it refinement. Each built kilometer now represents billions in optimized design, emphasizing endurance over expansion. Saudi officials reaffirm that this evolution strengthens the project's sustainability. The line's mission remains monumental, but its focus has narrowed to perfection rather than speed. Fewer people, higher value, greater control, the new formula of futuristic luxury. Inside the first residences, the architectural blueprints unveiled in 2025 
paint a breathtaking picture of the line's upcoming residences. Imagine living inside a vertical oasis, where every wall glows with adaptive lighting and each surface adjusts to touch. Floor-to-ceiling smart glass automatically tints in sunlight. Bathrooms recycle and purify water within seconds. AI kitchens prepare meals aligned with personalized nutrition plans. Every room is a sensor-rich ecosystem. The Sky Garden level, designed as a suspended green terrace between floors, will host plants from across the globe simulating humidity, light, and scent from multiple biomes. Exclusive tourism and global fascination. The line's leadership understands that the world's curiosity can be monetized. In late 2025, plans emerged for controlled tourism. Select access for VIP travelers by 2026. These visitors will experience parts of the completed structure, including the observation tower, the hidden marina, and curated AI exhibitions. Entry will require biometric clearance, with AI concierge generating tailored itineraries. Luxury hospitality giants such as Four Seasons and Aman Resorts are rumored to be in partnership talks for limited sky residences and wellness sanctuaries. For guests, the visit will feel like stepping into a science fiction film. Everything curated, hyper-efficient, and mirror-perfect. Saudi Arabia's goal is clear transform the line into a symbol of prestige tourism, a destination not for millions, but for the select few who can afford a glimpse into the future. Economic reverberations. Beyond its breathtaking visuals, the line is already reshaping Saudi Arabia's economy. Billions in contracts for AI systems, robotics, renewable energy, and construction materials have triggered a ripple effect across the global luxury and technology markets. European engineering firms and Asian smart tech companies are racing to secure future district rights. Even partial completion has boosted real estate speculation in the NEOM region. The Saudi government projects that the line will contribute substantially to the national GDP by 2030, driven by tourism, innovation, and high-tech exports. Analysts describe it as the world's most expensive marketing campaign turned real whether viewed as investment or extravagance, the line has positioned Saudi Arabia at the heart of the 21st century conversation about the cities of tomorrow. The Road Ahead, 2025 to 2030. Looking forward, the roadmap for the line blends ambition with practicality. The next milestones include the unveiling of the first luxury residences by 2027, followed by the integration of fully automated maglev transport systems and AI-governed community pods. Engineers are finalizing heat-resistant mirror panels designed to reflect radiation while minimizing glare. Renewable energy will drive the entire ecosystem using advanced solar collectors and hydrogen-based storage grids. Cultural and innovation districts are also in development, aiming to attract artists, researchers, and entrepreneurs from around the world. By 2030, a fully functional, inhabited segment housing roughly 30,000 residents is projected to stand complete. The living prototype of what the rest of the line will become. Whether it meets deadlines or not, the journey itself has already redefined urban imagination. Whether you believe it's the next revolution or the world's grandest illusion, one thing is certain. The line is no longer a dream. It's the future already under construction.